so truth and rec reconciliation to me is the the mending of relationships really so it's i mean it's this has been taking place this journey i think with the limeson district school board for me anyways over the past uh, almost 10 years um, that I feel like the Limestone District School Board has started to to get on board with Truth, truth and Reconciliation. Um, when we started, there really wasn't a lot around. Um, there wasn't there wasn't programs. There wasn't really anything happening. And I feel like over the last 10 years, things have started to to unfold. So this building we're in right now, the Cataraqui Learning Center, I feel like is a really good example of truth and reconciliation. We have this great project that's going on right now outside where we have uh, First Nations people down from Manitoulin Island who are building a canoe with our Indigenous students and our non-Indigenous students in this, in this space, which is something that 10 years ago, things like this wouldn't have been heard of. Um, other examples that I like to take from this building are, are things like the, the deer skinning project that took place a number of years ago, like how often and in what environments would you see those kind of things happening in a school and those things are now taking place. What people need to know is that it takes time and that it doesn't, it's not something that's, that's gonna just happen one day. It's not something that, that we can expect to happen even tomorrow. This has been a long process and it's something that's gonna continue to, to be a process. And I think people need to educate themselves. I think um, they, need to, they need to learn and they need to sit back and observe and they need to know when their voice uh, should be heard in all this and how they can um, approach it and what it means to them what piece can you own and what piece can you bring into truth and reconciliation like where what will you be able to add to that not trying to own it and not trying to do everything yourself well this this area is the traditional territory of the Haudenosaunee and the Anishinaabe people and this was like a you know a passing through ground that that those um, nations would have used you know, for hundreds and hundreds and thousands of, of years. And um, because we're a little bit off of Tynanaga, I think Kingston's seen maybe a, a little bit different. Um, we share this territory with a number of indigenous um, nations because of our, our agreement and our partnership with, um, that the hospital has with the, the Moose Cree people, that we have a lot of different nations that are coming in and out of here. So we really do live on a shared territory here with a number of different First Nations people. So when we sit down as the, the Indigenous Family Network of the IFN, we have a number of people from a number of different nations or territories that are um, coming together to share ideas and, and to also educate and work with the community. So having all those different nations and all those people that come with different teachings and different language, um, it often adds a lot to the, the community that we're here. So saying that there are those different nations it's also um, we, the, the students here and the adults here also get um, get a variety of different teachings that they may not get if they were if they were on territory somewhere else. Things that I do as an ally is I help my students connect to those resources, connect to those knowledge keepers, connect to those elders. It's not my job to be trying to. Um, teach them the culture like it's something that I own and something that I should be teaching to them. It's me bringing those kids or those students to those knowledge keepers and to those elders to learn. And it's also good for me then to be, to be learning those teachings as well so then I can reflect back with those students and say, hey, remember when we met with Bernard and he was giving us this great teaching. Like, isn't this kind of a moment where we can, so drawing from that and being able to use that moment to then sort of reteach it through, through the experience that we both had together. I think what people need to be aware of, and I think, again, this kind of goes back to being an ally. It goes back to sort of not trying to own every piece of this or feel like you need to teach to all this. One of the things that people need to be aware of is that if this is not a teaching that you've had before, this is not something that you should be trying to teach others. You should be looking to the, the people that have the teachings so they would be able to do whatever activity that you're looking to do.